is up, brawlers, bladers, and fellow awesome nerds. It is I, Baku Dad, one half of the Baku Boys. And if this is your first time to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, please be sure to drop us a comment and check out our other projects in the description below as we do try and release weekly Bakugan, Beyblade, and other awesome nerdy content every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into what I've got in store for guys for this video. So today is Wednesday, February 8th. <coughs> And for today's video, we are actually going to be doing something special because I'm going to be checking out, well, we are going to be checking out uh, what Baka Kid got me for Christmas, and that is the Exploding Kittens Recipes for Disaster game made by, uh, made by Exploding Kittens for two to five players uh, and for seven and up. So we are not going to waste that much more time. We are going to jump straight to the table where we will check out everything inside. Catch you guys at the table in just a moment. Pew! And here we are, back at the table, ready to check out Exploding Kittens Recipes for Disaster. Uh, yes, and like I said before, this game is made by the company Exploding Kittens, and this is the second Exploding Kittens game that Baku Kid and I have. Uh, the first one <coughs> that we wound up getting was uh, a game of Cat and Mouth. And I wound up getting that uh, not this past Christmas, but the but the previous Christmas. So that was actually super cool. And now Baka Kid got me this because we actually really like games by Exploding Kittens. So <clears throat> there's a lot of awesome stuff. But what this is, is it's a is they wound up taking some great cards from some of the other ones. It's kind of hard to explain. So, and as you see on the box right here, it does include a wearable cone of shame. <coughs> and how this cone of shame works is if at any time, and, and, and this works in multiplayer games, not so much in two player games, but in multiplayer games, when, <coughs> Someone forgets the full rotation of how a game goes, uh, uh, of whether they're supposed to uh, play to the right or the left. Uh, they have to wear this, and it always reminds them and the other players which way the game is supposed to go. I think this is quite comical. <coughs> And there's only one time that that has happened. And unfortunately, it happened to Baku Kid. While him, I, and our friend Logan were all playing, Baku Kid unfortunately wound up forgetting the rotation in which the game went. So according to the game rules, he had to wear the Cone of Shame, which reminded everyone the rotation in which the game goes. So here is <coughs> the rule book and the field guide, and these are well done. Well, this is not a rule book, it's more of a rule pamphlet, because the rules are super easy for this game. <coughs> and then the field guide is another pamphlet, but this goes over some of the other cards. Let's see what it has to say. I know it says somewhere. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, the recipes for disaster includes 13 recipe rule booklets. Oh wait, no. can't remember <coughs> where it says it. I think it might be on the box, but what they did was they took some fun, some, some of the cards from a, some of the other expansions like zombie kittens and streaking kittens. And I can't remember which other ones, but 
they made them all into this. And what you do is, uh, when you open the game, you have to separate everything out. And you have, like, you literally have every single card because <clears throat> what you do is anytime you want to play a game, you grab a recipe and there's 13 different recipes in here. There's some recipes for two player games, some recipes for two to four player games and two to five. So let's let's just go ahead and take a look at one of the recipe booklets. So it says it's for two to five players. It's about a, a 10 minute play time. And then it tells you how many cards each player starts with <clears throat> and any additional things that they have to have along with their starting hand. And then you open up the booklet and it tells you what cards or how many of what card you have to pull from here to build the deck for the game. And then you proceed to play the game like you normally would. Baku Kid and I have not played this on the channel yet, but <clears throat> we actually will do that at some point in time. And something else that's really cool about this is it includes, and I've, I've got them kind of like alternating and facing, so it makes them easier to stack. But there are blank recipe booklets so you can build your own recipe for any type of game you want to customize using everything in here, which I think is really cool. <coughs> but if you see, yeah, it'll tell you the card count and what card you're supposed to grab out of here. And each one is different. So like this is for a two player black hole game. This is for a two player power play. And I love how each recipe is different. And there's <clears throat> so many different ways to play this game. I think it is super fun. But uh, make sure you check out other stuff that will be coming this week, because this coming Friday, we are going to be bringing back the solo board gaming nights. I will actually be playing the Marvel Legendary uh, card game system for Friday Night Fight, because I haven't played that in a while. And I'm super excited to be bringing back some solo board gaming nights because I really do enjoy doing those as well as all the other Friday night fight videos Aiden and I have done. And I actually have in my collection of board games <clears throat> because Baku Kid and I, we actually have quite the collection of top games. So I have some other games that I want to try in the future that I have not played on the channel yet, but I haven't even played them before. So I want to learn how to play some of those other ones before I try playing them on the channel. But I'm super excited to be bringing back some solo board gaming nights and especially with bringing back the Marvel Legendary card game system. That's actually a lot of fun. It's been one of my favorites for a while. <clears throat> and then this Saturday, I am super excited about this. Uh, oh, Yes, uh, this Saturday, before I get ahead of myself, um, this Saturday, uh, definitely don't want to miss out on Saturday's upload because this Saturday we are doing something super special. We are going to be doing a technically a release weekend special because this Friday, uh, Friday the 10th, February 10th, is the new Magic the Gathering Phyrexia All Will Be One. Uh, that set comes out and Baku Kid and I are going to be getting one of the bundle boxes and we will be unboxing that. Uh, and you guys will see that on Saturday. I mean, Baku Kid and I will go ahead and record it on Friday. 
and then we'll upload it Saturday. But it's going to be awesome because you guys will get those of you who have not experienced Magic the Gathering yet or are wanting to will get to have a first impression uh, on the release weekend. So it's going to be awesome for all to check out the new Phyrexia All Will Be One set because Baka Kid and I both really like the lore for Magic the Gathering and a lot of the characters in the lore and stories. And we both enjoy playing the game as is. Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, also, drop a comment letting me know uh, what you thought, what you think about the Exploding Kittens game if you haven't played it. Or if you have, let me know what you like about it. Uh, or if you have played any of the other games uh, by Exploding Kittens. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and help uh, support Baku Kid and I, there's a few ways you can in the description below. We have a link to our coffee.com, which is our virtual tip jar. Uh, there is also a link to my personal Twitch channel, and you do not want to miss this, uh, uh, this Friday for sure, because every Wednesday and Sunday I stream, and sometimes on the weekends that I've got Baku Kid, we will actually do a father-son stream, but <clears throat> this Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, for those of you on the East Coast, that will be 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but Baku Kid and I, we are going to be doing a special Bean Boozled stream, and we are going to be playing The Binding of Isaac. That is going to be so fun. Baku Kid and I are super excited to do that stream for this coming Friday. Uh, and and as I've said before, I do stream every Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, right now, I have been streaming Diablo 3. Uh, I decided to go ahead and work on a brand new character. Uh, and I am playing a necromancer in Diablo 3, which is a lot of fun. So you are more than welcome to come check out my Wednesday stream and my Sunday stream where I play Diablo 3. Uh, Wednesdays, I stream at 5 between 5 and 5.15, depending on traffic between me getting home. And sometimes I have a few like technical hiccups with trying to get everything set up. So I always give it at least a good uh, anywhere that time to 15 minutes after. And on Sundays, I normally stream at 10 o'clock. Uh, I start my Sunday stream at 10 o'clock. Yeah, in the morning. And I stream for about an hour or more, depending on how I feel. Uh, and that's been a lot of fun. But yes, you definitely want to come check out this Friday stream where Baku Kid and I will be playing Bean Boozled uh, with Binding of Isaac. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and also another way you can help support us is by checking out our sponsor, uh, W Energy, and by using our product code or, or our coupon code, Nerd Boys, N E R D B O I S, you can save 10% at checkout when you purchase any Dubby product. But until next video, I am Baku Dad signing out one half of the Baku Boys, and always remember to Baku Gone Brawl, let it rip, and stay awesome and nerdy. Peace out, guys.